Your three minute question and answer period for the Scotiabank Climate Action Challenge will now begin. Have you had any un unintended negative effects on the climate through this project and how did you overcome them? For well, book osmosis, we realized renting out books to students may, uh, we realized that books may end up to may end up in landfills when we rent them out to students. So we uh, thought of creating a renting option that will allow us to rent books to students and get it back. And when we find out that the books are outdated, we recycle it, we recycle the books ourselves. One of our main uh, negative impacts for Enviro was that we had to make a prototype that also involved a little bit of silicon, which is not ideally the best environmentally friendly project. So we're trying to eliminate that out while simultaneously not producing formaldehyde, which is the whole aim of our project. For Project Greenway, we haven't had any significant and negative effects on the environment as we've been more based on proper waste sorting methods. What effect has your project had on greenhouse gas emissions and how was that impact measured? For Envirut, one of our major uh, greenhouse gas emissions was exactly like I said previously is formaldehyde and we were able to eliminate that very effectively and how we measured it was using an uh, instrument in our analytical uh, lab, uh, especially in the chemistry building, we can detect the release of formaldehyde or we can detect the release of CO2, which is well-known carbon dioxide and uh, uh, greenhouse gas. And we were able to measure that and say, okay, so this prototype actually reduces the for, uh, greenhouse gases. You have plans to scale your project, why and how? For Tesla Cosmosis, we plan to scale our project because this would help us to reduce more books going into the landfills. So we plan to scale our project by expanding through university by going to their student union community to find how they can implement our project and use our software application to reduce more books on campus. For Envivut, we initially plan on scaling by diverting 200 tons of orange peel waste to produce around 15,000 standard particle boats or uh, bulletin boats for our campus almost every week. So that's the idea of where we plan and where we are uh, ex expanding. And one of our first focus would be the main product itself and uh, hopefully selling that product uh, to companies that uh, produce citrus fruits. For Project Greenlight, we've been able to empower over 25 students and faculty members on campus by involving them in awareness waste sorting campaigns. And we've been able to drastically re um, reduce the amount of students who are confused with waste sorting systems from 12% to 5.5%. So we aim, our current aim is to currently reach out to the off-campus apartments. 